Hey guys, it's Brooke and today I am doing a, another Starbucks review. These have been really popular on my channel and thank you so much to the people who have subscribed from these videos. I usually am a beauty channel but I really love doing Starbucks reviews as well and after this one I'm not sure what to review anymore because this is kind of almost like the last kind of fall drink that Starbucks has this year. But today I am going to be trying the Salted Caramel Mocha coffee frappuccino blended beverage holy crap what a name I'm just going to say salted caramel mocha frappuccino um, they do have a salted caramel mocha which is just like a regular coffee I guess and they also have the pumpkin spice coffee frappuccino blended drink so those are kind of like the last ones left and if you have any suggestions on what I can review from Starbucks or Dunkin then let me know down below I would happy to review pretty much anything or just your favorite drink that you love so if you enjoyed this video I would absolutely love if you would give it a thumbs up as well as click subscribe if you are new I'd love for you to join the family and like I said usually I do beauty reviews but I also have been doing a lot of Starbucks reviews lately which a lot of people seem to really like which makes me so happy the salted caramel mocha coffee frappuccino blended beverage is where they combine mocha sauce toffee nut syrup with coffee milk and ice which actually sounds really good um, then they finish it off with a sweetened whipped cream their whipped cream is so good having too much fun <laughs> um, it was a beautiful car though it was like a bright cobalt blue Mustang anyway so they top off the whipped cream with caramel sauce and a blend of turbinate turbinado t-u-r-b-i-n-a-d-o kind of like tornado but turbinado sugar never heard of that and sea salt with an explosion of flavor in every sip so I'm really excited for this drink. So let's go ahead, head over to Starbucks, which is right next door. The line is super long, but yeah, I'm excited. Let's try it out. I also love caramel, so I feel like I'm going to like this drink and my mom will like it as well. So. All right, so it's almost our turn. So, so excited. Oh, somebody's got a cute little chihuahua. So I personally think this one's going to be pretty good. If you have tried any of the fall drinks from Starbucks, let me know which one you have tried or which one you really like. So far, my favorite has been the pumpkin cream cold brew. I really want to get that today, but I'm being good. I haven't had a frappuccino in so long. I can't even remember the last time I had a frappuccino. Um, actually, it wasn't that long ago because like a month ago when I ordered a drink, somebody forgot their caramel frappuccino and they asked me if I wanted it and I said uh yeah so I got a free caramel frappuccino so yeah there's that <laughs> that that literally had no point <laughs> about that wait what can I get started for you today um can I get a small salty caramel mocha frappuccino So I got another pumpkin scone because it's so, so good, you guys. It's a little pricey, but it's pretty big for the price, and it's so good. I highly recommend you guys try it. I did a taste test of that with my pumpkin cream cold brew in my last video, if you want to check that out. I have a playlist of these like Starbucks reviews, so that will be in the description below. I also went to Ulta today. And I wanted to get the new Too Faced Pumpkin Spice palette because it looked so beautiful. And of course, they didn't have it. They had a missed shipment. Like they had the lipsticks, but they didn't have the palette. But also the new Urban Decay Stoned palette came out today, which looks absolutely stunning. And the packaging, oh my God, it's so beautiful. I'm going to do a review on this. It should be up probably Tuesday or Wednesday or sometime this week. I rarely ever buy Urban Decay. Um, their makeup just doesn't really speak to me and then their foundations break me out. But when I seen this, I was like, oh, I have to try this. So this was $54, but look how gorgeous this palette is. It's so beautiful. And then here's what the inside looks like. Oh my gosh, it is so gorgeous, you guys. I cannot wait to play around with this. 
they do I'm not gonna lie they they look a little dry but I think it's kind of like pressed glitters but regardless I'm super excited for it and the packaging is so beautiful thank you all right you have a lovely day do I you have you <laughs> yeah thank yeah. you all right guys so sad news they didn't have any whipped cream but they still put the caramel on top I don't know if you guys can see that or not trying not to dump it also if you guys seen my last video with the pumpkin cold brew I got another one of these lids and I'm so thrilled about it I love these lids so much I don't know why I guess cuz like they reduce the straws I hate straws I really do um, unless they're like the metal ones but yeah this is what it looks like it looks delicious it really does so let's go ahead and try it out I'm really sad about the whipped cream because I love me some whipped cream, but that is okay. I'm actually really surprised they still put the caramel on top. Like, go them, I'm really happy about that. Mm. It kind of tastes like subtly sweet, caramel chocolate milk <laughs> that's kind of what it tastes like like I could taste the caramel it has like that caramel flavor I think I could taste a little bit of the toffee nut I think it has like an undertone of toffee nut it's not like anything crazy but I can definitely taste the mocha it's just kind of like an odd mixture it just tastes like mocha caramel um, it's not bad it's not my favorite I'll definitely drink it but I definitely prefer the caramel frappuccino over this one so no 10 out of 10 but I am going to give this I would say probably I'm gonna say an 8 out of 10 like it's pretty good I do like it I do recommend you guys try it like it's not my favorite but it's still good it's still a nice drink to try out for the holidays a nice frappuccino if you will it definitely does have more of a mocha flavor to it though so if you like mocha I think you'll really like this drink I feel like the mocha kind of overpowers the caramel a little bit yeah you know what um, I think I'm going to take back my eight the more that I drink it I actually had to get my camera back out um, the more I'm just not a huge fan of this drink so I'm going to take back my 8 and I'm going to give it like a 6.5 or 7 it's also starting to make me really thirsty which that could be because I haven't drank a lot of water today but also it could be because of the salt in the salted caramel you can definitely taste like the salted caramel but the mocha is very strong in it so it's I'm just going to stick with my first statement. It kind of just tastes like drinking chocolate milk with salted caramel in it. It's basically the best way that I can explain what this drink tastes like. So if you love mocha, then give this a try. If you like salted caramel, give this a try. You might like it. I probably won't order it again. It's not my favorite. I definitely prefer the caramel frappuccino over this and I definitely prefer the PSL and the pumpkin cream cold brew over this. So definitely not one that I'm going to get again. It's not bad by any means, but it's just not my taste. <laughs> and it also makes me really thirsty. So that is my review on the salted caramel mocha frappuccino. I do think you guys should try it out, especially if you love mocha and frappuccinos. Pumpkin cream cold brew though still owns my heart. So that is my favorite one so far. And I'll go ahead and show the pumpkin scone again, just in case you guys haven't seen the last video or you just want to see what it looks like, like the size. So this is the pumpkin scone and it's amazing. It's Oh, it's like the best scone thing ever from Starbucks. I almost like it more than the cake pops, but again, cake pops hold a special place in my heart. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review and thank you guys so much for watching. Also, be sure to check out the other reviews. Give this video a thumbs up if you've been liking this. Let me know what I should try next. If you are new, I'd love if you would subscribe. You can watch more videos right here and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys!